Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany. So in today's video, I have another nail video for you guys. Press on nail video. Um, if you haven't watched the video I posted last week where I just showed me applying it, that was my first set I ever made. But I am going to go ahead and make another set. I'm going to make a shorter set that's more every day because I put on that set and it was like super long and it's a look. I love to see super long nails, but on an everyday basis, I want to wear short or medium nails. So this is the inspo for today's um, set. So it's going to be nude with hollow tips and we're going to go from there. So these are the tips I'm going to be using. These are full cover tips because we're doing press on nails. So these are kind of like short coffin nails. Um, of course, I got these from Amazon. Most of all of my products I use are from Amazon. Okay, so the camera got uh, cut off with memory and I had to fix that. So I already sized all of my nails here. Let's zoom in. I sized all my nails and I put them on my nail stand. And what you have to do now is you have to get a file or a buffer and buff off the shiny surface just so all of your gel polish and stuff will adhere to the nail. So I'm not doing hard. Push that baby back on. I'm not doing hardcore filing. I'm just kind of buffing off that shiny surface. By the way, I'm not a nail tech. I'm just a person who likes doing their own nails and I watch a lot of YouTube. So I'm very much a beginner at this, but you can learn anything on YouTube. So I'm just gonna buff off the top shiny surface of it on all of the nails and I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I buffed off the shiny surface of all of them. But with press on nails, they have like this like plastic tip on there where I guess the machine has that part. So you gotta file that off. So I'm just gonna put my buffer at an angle and just file that off real quick. All right, so I have a lint-free wipe here, also from Amazon, and I have some isopropyl um, alcohol here. This is 99%, I got it from Amazon as well. And I'm just gonna wipe off all the dust because you don't want that to get inside of your gel polish, like when you start to paint your nails. So wipe off all that powder. And I'm gonna probably skip prep of my own nails in this video because I showed it in the last one. Just wiping off that powder. Make sure no hair is around either because oh my gosh that's so annoying getting that caught up in your nail polish. Okay, you got all your nails together, examine them, make sure there's no like hairs or anything on there. Okay, so I have, I'm gonna use the Madam Glam base coat and I'm gonna put it all on, I'm gonna put it on all of the nails. Madam Glam is pretty expensive and I bought so many of their nail polishes because they had like a 40% off sale. Um, but yeah, you can just, the Beatles gel polish is really good too. They're on Amazon, super cheap. 
but still very good. That set I showed you guys last week was with the Beatles gel polish. I tried to get like, like nicer stuff. So, because eventually I do want to sell press on nails and everything. I got this Sun UV LED nail lamp off of Amazon, of course. I'm gonna cure that for 30 seconds, for 30 seconds. Okay, so I was considering doing all natural, but I mean, I did all natural with a hollow tip here, but, and that'll be fine, but I wanted something a little bit more tan. And I have already used Beige Rose from Madame Glam for my sister's set that I did for her. And I'm gonna use it for myself. Okay, so here's Beige Rose, which I feel goes better with my skin tone because it has more brown in it and all natural is more just like white based. So we're gonna go with Beige Rose. It's from Madame Glam. I reached out to them for a coupon code because I I was like, I spent a lot of money on there and I was gonna share, you know, some nail videos on my channel. And they gave me a coupon code. So let's hope it works for you guys. But you probably have to use like, I don't know. I'll just have to double check before I put this video up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one thin coat and then cure it for 30 seconds. This set is gonna be very beginner friendly. In some videos, it might be more advanced because I'll be doing like more nail art, you know, hand painting and all that stuff. But this is gonna be super simple. gonna put it in my UV lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna do two um, coats on both of them and then I'll come back when it's time to do the top coat. It's a little while later and I have put the base coat on and then I put thin layers of the gel polish on and I cure it 30 seconds in between each each uh, coat. So that looks super simple, but these are the casualties that I had. Like, <laughs> be careful putting it in and out of your um, UV lamp and be careful with the thickness of your coats. When they say thin, they mean thin. Don't be trying to put chunky layers on there or you'll, or it'll cure and it'll be like, wrinkled and stuff so i messed up like four different nails so keep that in mind so now i am going to do the holographic tips and i just learned how to do this like two days ago y'all two days ago so what you do is i bought this holographic powder off of amazon of course because i want amazon you can go on like you know specific nail shops and stuff, but I wanted it in two days. So I use Amazon Prime. So I have the powder here. And I also have this beauty sponge that I've already used. You can use any kind of those kind of, you know, throwback beauty sponges like this, like the wedge kind, those kind, but I don't have any. 
so I'm using what I have. So you have to use a no wipe top coat and I'm using the one from Madam Glam. And so you do a thin coat, you let it dry to 80%. You do not do 100% because it's not gonna, the hollow is not gonna work. I did it 100% and it messed up on one nail. So I practiced a few days ago. The first time I did it, 100% it didn't work out. And then I only like cured it for like five seconds with the top coat on and it worked well. So let's do that. I'm probably just gonna do this on one of the nails because I think after you get like just one of them, you'll understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top coat on. And it's a pretty thin layer. I'm gonna do it on the cat the free edge. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in here for like five seconds, just like five seconds. And then I'll take it out. I don't want it to dry all the way. I only kept it in there five seconds. So I'm taking the powder just a little bit on here. And they said um, the less you use, the better. You don't need a whole bunch. So I have some on there. I'm gonna start at the top and just kind of press it on there. Putting most of it on the tip. Then I'm gonna start buffing it in. Ooh, look at that. Hope you guys can see that. Then I'm kind of letting up the pressure as I go up. Just keep pressing that in. You can also use those eyeshadow um, applicators. I have some of those as well. So this is what this hollow nail looks like. I think that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a top coat on this and let it cure. I'm gonna let it cure for 60 seconds actually. Do a thin coat. That's pretty easy. Just remember, you gotta let the top coat dry to 80% and not 100%. Gonna put it in there for 60 seconds. Yes, so here is the thumbnail after the top coat has been cured for 60 seconds. And I'm gonna do the rest of them, the rest of them off camera, and then I'll be back to apply them. These look so this looks so cute. Simple. I'll be back. Alright, so it's gonna be some kind of harsh shadows and stuff going on because I'm in front of a window and then I have my studio lights and yeah. It's like almost nine o'clock at night. So these look so good. Simple and cute. So I have prepped my nails. I just kind of filed away any kind of dead skin. Um, you just have to push your cuticle back. So I'm just gonna apply this hand on camera and then come back with both of them on. Here's my natural nails. I roughed up the surface and then I wiped away like the the powder or whatever that came from roughing up the surface with isopropyl alcohol. And this is what I'm left with. So I'm legit applying these today, not with the adhesive tabs. I'm using actual glue. I found this glue on Amazon. I've purchased uh, luxury press on nails from the nail shop by SB and she like 
she has these for purchase on her website so I'm assuming it's really good um yeah but they have this on Amazon and I picked up a two pack and this is a brush on adhesive so I'm gonna apply one hand with you guys I'm gonna start with my pinky take this poster putty off and if you have any residue you can always use your alcohol because it'll come right off okay let me put a little bit more glue because it probably dried out hold that down And I went full hollow on my ring finger, you know, as an accent. So far, they look good. And I'm probably gonna be hyped off of every set I make just because I can't believe like I can do these myself. There's no light outside anyway. Let me close my blinds. Yeah, you can probably see it better now. Let me zoom out. This lens right here is super cute. It's like very everyday. This is a length I made for my sister. I made some with the same color, but without the hollow. All right, I'm gonna go off camera and do my other hand and I'll be back with them completed. Here is the final look of my nails. And I think they turned out really, really cute. And this is very easy, very beginner friendly. So if you're trying to do your own nails at home or you're selling press on nails, um, definitely try this out. It's so easy, super easy. And it looks really pretty. So I wanna try some other um, holographic powders because I was like, I bought a whole bunch of stuff, like nail supplies and stuff. So I was like, let's just get one and practice. And then once you learn how to do it, then you can get some more. So I'm gonna look for some other colors cause I've seen them out there. This just turned out so cute, y'all. So if you enjoy the nail video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments, like, yes, I wanna see more nail content from you and I'll be making more for you guys. So just let me know. Um, make sure you are subscribed and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time I do another upload. Yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.